What's up, everybody? It's me, Crosspatch. Welcome back to my Madden 21 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. We're taking on Cincinnati again today. Second meeting of the season with these guys. We are 13-0. We've got the AFC North wrapped up. We are fighting for a number one seed in the playoffs right now. These Bengals are rating five. They're fighting for a wild card spot. And uh, we beat them pretty handily last time, but you never know. Joe Burrow is always tough. There's a look at his numbers on the season. And uh, we're going to bring pressure, as always, try to get in his face, um, force bad throws, put him on the ground when we can. And hope to repeat last game's performance. Last time we faced them. Fitzpatrick wraps him up for a three yard gain. Second and seven. Three yards the gain there, second down. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Oh, completely beat. Edmonds just gets torched by the tight end. Just resigned Edmonds for a midterm deal, four years, something like that. There we go. Now he's coming up and making a tackle. There we go. Way to redeem yourself. Ah. Yeah, our receivers are, uh, our defensive backs are covering these guys. They're just making catches so far. Can't let Mixon beat us today. Shifty runner with a lot of speed. Breaks a lot of tackles. And again, we've got guys running wide open. Burrow is four for four. That would a first down pick up of eight. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. Play a little cover one here. Oh, fumble! Grab that ball! Ulysses Gilbert comes up with it. I didn't see who forced it. Here comes Big Ben. Having another maybe MVP year? 40 years old? Where are we on the field? Let's see. What do we've got room to do? Consistent, more consistent probably than anybody else as the numbers bear out. The social media chatter for the MVP races certainly start to ramp up. I know you and I have felt that. Yeah, no doubt about it. Right now. All right, let's see what we got. As we head down the stretch. Following the fumble recovery, it's Boy, I was gonna, I was tempted to put that up deep for Smith Schuster. Didn't quite look like he was getting behind his guy. So I've got Claypool in the slot today. Trying to get him the ball a little more than uh, he's been getting at in the past couple games. And he needs uh, he needs 139 yards for his first 1,000-yard season. And Connor needs 61 yards for what will be his third 1,000-yard uh, season. This might be a touchdown. There we go. Smith Schuster having another huge year. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. 
if you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league. All right, so we got a uh, capitalized off the turnover. There's another example that did it again. This Jumped out to a quick lead here. Now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will make it into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchdown. All right, let's see. Let's go, D. Let's see if we can... Repeat that last drive performance. Look at the playoff race in the AFC. And as we take a look at the playoff picture, certainly still a lot of jostling to go in these final few weeks. For the moment, they would be a wild card team. Far from locked up, but that's that's why this is exciting. These last Second and four. A lot to play for. So much to play for. And remember, seven teams in each conference go to the playoffs instead of six. No backs in the backfield. There we go. We're gonna go uh, three, three, five wide. We are uh, getting in his head a little bit, it seems. Let's go, McKinney. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Get that out to, get that out to Peterson for a short gain. Catch good for only a couple. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Peterson, our rookie tight end, is having a good year. 70 some catches. He may go over a thousand yards on the season. There he is again. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. I'm going to go underneath on that one. Oh, man. Broken up. Yeah, it was quiet there a little bit. I was trying to figure out uh, trying to figure out what I wanted to do on that one. So we're going to go empty trace stack. And we're going to get... Um, we're going to get our tight end where we want him in that formation there. Yeah, Peterson here for a look down the middle. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Threw a... Oh, man. I was about to say I threw a horrible interception on this play. Running this play uh, in my Bears franchise yesterday. Totally stupid. Almost cost us the game. This Schuster boy, we're going to be uh, uh, fourth and five for the, first. the 41. I'm going to trust in our defense here. For a man who's been so brilliant this year, worth pointing out, as we were talking about earlier, there has never in the 60-year history of the award been a pass catcher tied We're going to go for it. We're going to trust in our defense to take care of us on a short field if we don't get it. They know that stat, and it drives them crazy because they understand that without a quarterback, There's Peterson. Look, I've got a weird angle here to the camera. Again, it's this might be a touchdown. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. There we go. Yeah, he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Two 
So we went for it on fourth down. Maybe a little bit of a questionable decision. I felt like statistically uh, the uh, odds were in our favor to get that. Taking the gamble pays off. We got another touchdown out of the drive. So 14 zip. As the first quarter starts to run down here a little bit. And we'll face Palmer once again. Let's go with our 4-3 uh, a little bit, just for a different look. And there's Steve. Oh, was that a fumble? Get that ball, somebody. Gasicki picks it up. The ball is just rattling around there. To it on the strip sack. And that's the end of the quarter. Not going well for the Bengals so far. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it with a second down coming up. See if we can get them in another third and long here. On the delay, it's mm, all right. Much better here. Nothing there for Mixon. Third and 20. We're going to go with our cover three. Situation coming up. And I missed the hit stick. And we missed the tackles. Holy cow. All right, we got him off the field, hopefully. Let's go, McKinney. Catch the ball and don't fumble. It's taken to the 26. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now out come the Steelers. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe Let's go. We've been doing well here with our throwing the ball, trying to keep it going. We've still got this weird, uh, oh man, held on to that a little too long. We got a weird camera, camera angle there. And they have Von Miller back there. So that's not great. Is this better? I guess this is the better camera angle I want. Again, they've, I mean, I maybe had Claypool there if I waited on him. This is not good. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack... I mean, always better to take a sack than to throw up a stupid uh, potential interception. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, so we're going to have a rare appearance by a Steelers punter here. Two sacks on that drive, not great. Our overwork, uh, underworked, overpaid Steelers punter. Oh, big hit by Isaac. All right, let's not let this be a momentum swing here. Joe Burrow trots out again with the rest of his offense. They've been faced with a tough test today here. The crowd's been really good. They're struggling. He's struggling. We'll see if they can pick things up. And the crowd has had an impact, and they feel good about that because he's not playing very well. Not getting the ball, not doing things he normally Rookie does. corner Barkley getting beat. Turn it around against this hostile group. Yeah, because on the road, don't you look to your quarterback a lot? 
that's the uh, the downside of playing this aggressive defense is we're leaving our we're leaving our corners and our safeties in man coverage all the time. I mean, the payoff is kind of worth it usually. But every now and then, one of these uh, quarterbacks gets hot, and uh, there's nothing we can do to stop him. So hopefully that's not about to happen here. All right, second and five. Playing quarters on the goal line. And they've got first and goal. First and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Again, it's Burrow. Man. All right, so we're 14-7. Uh, they've got some points on the board. Not had a good uh, past couple minutes. Let's see if we can bounce back with our next possession. Let's go, McFarlane. Taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line. So we've got uh, just under three minutes left in the half. Um, I don't know, maybe time for two possessions. We'll see how it goes here. Go underneath. Underneath the clay pool. Try to be smart. Pick this up with Connor. And we're going to come down to the two minute warning here. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. And we are where? We are on the 35. We're going to try to... I guess we'll go no huddle. Not really a need to go no huddle right now, but we may as well. We're going to try to get some guys near the sideline and get them out of bounds. There's uh, Johnson. Flip this play. There's Claypool on the wheel. They're giving us this wheel route. Miss Schuster on the crosser. All right, so we are gonna. We gotta go away from our uh, no huddle, and we're gonna run the ball here. There we go. So we got 35 seconds to keep these guys out of the end zone. Maybe we'll go a little dime. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll do a little dime cover three, I think. Here again comes Joe Burrow and the offense for the Bengals. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They gotta fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make Wrapped sure up by Mike Hilton. Confident. Continue to try to up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football. Got a four man four man pass rush with this dime formation. Oh, Missing, missing hit stick so far today. And a hold. We will accept that. Yes, please. So a decent gain, but all for not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. On second down, Burrow. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. He's taken down, but able to slip across. All right, so they're still on their own 36. First and 10. Keep them in front of us. Connected on that hit stick. And they are out of timeouts. And if they complete a pass in the field of play, I don't know if they'll get the field goal off. Nope. No time for another play. The half expires. Yeah, a little bit of uh, stupidity taking some stat, uh, sacks. But otherwise, not a bad half. Take a look at our numbers there. We'll be running the ball more in the second half. There's that weird graphic I always see. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be received. And we'll stay there, McFarland. And here we go. Let's get some more points on the board on this drive. Then we're going to put the ball in Connor's hands and let him close this thing out for us. He's like our closer in baseball. I would anticipate the defense making some changes. But I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely... I think Smith Schuster can run by this corner if the safety fades uh, to the other to the other side. But he doesn't. Oh, almost sacked again. Holding the ball too long. Holding the ball way too long today. Back to our smash team. I gotta be aware of Von Miller. And they've got another guy on the other side there who's pretty good too. Good catch by Peterson. Honestly, that uh, was a 50 50 ball. I never like to throw those. The rookie comes through. Gloves. It's not about the gloves. And we're going to get rid of that. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. They don't get the hook up there, but you really Bush offering some encouraging words for to it. These last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it. Precise because if you're Let's go. Better, two weeks in a row. You have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I'd be less phase is not just West Coast offense. Still their empty stealer. Downfield as well. Incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again is Peterson underneath. And this time he's got the hook up. It's complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming. So that gives us third and two. I think we're gonna go like uh, four down territory here with Connor. If he doesn't pick it up on this carry, we're gonna give him another one. There we go. Yeah, 
Definitely was a great time to dial one up. We're going to go double cross. And we're going to look for Johnson coming across or Peterson. It looks like we got a blitz coming, maybe. There's Peterson. And let's go. Uh, oh, Ben is still tired. Why is Ben so tired? You are a professional athlete. It has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half. Just being told what do I want here? We want to go for the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Why trips week? Slip screen. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Yeah, I always try to sneak that one in there when I think the tight end has his guy beat on that play. But um, it's always a bad throw because he's not he throws it off his back foot when I do that, which is never good. The Schuster. Okay, third and five. We're gonna go. Empty tray stack, post wheel. And we, uh, I wanted Peterson on that, but Smith Schuster was uh, had his guy beat there. So we will go to him. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues. Got to come field. away with some points on this. Can't have a stupid throw. Second and one, James Conner time. Well, I don't know if he got that. Let's see. First and goal from the four. So let's go. Uh, Affect power. We'll put Claypool in there. Oh no, we went in duo. Alright, we're not throwing the slant right now anyway. We're running the ball. Uh, Connor's in. He that's his 16th touchdown on the season. 15? I thought he had 15 already. Maybe that is 15. All right, that, you can't ask for more out of a uh, uh, drive to open up the second half. We killed a bunch of clock. We came away with a touchdown. And let's get this uh, Carson Palmer guy wrapped up and get this win uh Taken care of. So the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. I can't wait to oh. see Gilbert in there. Also, David Wiggins, last year's first round draft pick, number 95. Big nose tackle. Now Burrow, 
Oh no, come on. I tried to let up, I really did. I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Burrow gonna fake to mix it and now look to throw. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's gonna come down with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before All right. it's into enemy territory. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. They switch, we switch. Oh, man, everybody is all over him. Everybody's all over Burrow. Nobody saw the screen coming. I should have saw it. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. First down. Here's Burrow. There's Minka Fitzpatrick coming in. I don't know. His guy must have blocked, I guess, and he came in. I know I didn't call a safety blitz. I don't think I did. Oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. On second down, Again with the screen. All right, make a mental note here. Be aware of screen. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. On third down, Burrow. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. All right, so I think they're going to have a fourth down here. It's going to come down to the, uh, kick down to the end of the quarter. And they're kicking a field goal. Will they still want to kick a field goal when the fourth quarter comes? That right there is... <laughs> that is something that's been in Madden for a long time. Like going back uh, 15 years or more. The CPU wants to kick a field goal. Um, and fourth and one. Then the quarter expires. And they change their minds. So what's happening there? I don't know, like the algorithm or whatever the CP uses uses to decide whether or not it should kick a field goal uh, changes. But I've always had to laugh at that. Like suddenly their their mind changes because now it's the fourth quarter. Three seconds have gone off the clock. There goes Connor. So what did I say? Connor needs 61 yards, right? I don't know what he's got so far. I always seem to have a linebacker just running free. So we are not going to get into uh, third and long if we can help it. As I always say. Oh man, it's tempting to put one up for Claypool here. We're not going to do that though. We're going to we're going to play uh, conservative a little bit. So he has 34 yards right now. 
nice job there on the tackle, keep him to the short gain. And, of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you, keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. Oh, what's the penalty? And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Keller. Second and 18. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. We'll go with the same formation, different play. Except I can't remember what play called, so I think this is a different play. Play pull wide open underneath. So what do we got? Third and four. Pick this up through the air. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And there's Schuster picking it up. And he will have a Steelers first down by about a A little bit of a sketchy throw. Back to Connor on the ground. Now what? Hold again, are you kidding me? I'm Pouncey. Oh man. Sometimes you got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. Now Ben gonna give this to Connor. Nothing there. Taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. On second and 15 now, Roethlisberger. Take the underneath to Peterson. I really don't want to be throwing the ball right now. But, uh... Break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving... But I also don't want to, uh... chance to make something happen once he has the ball. I don't want to punt, either. <laughs> And we keep we keep throwing underneath. It's a little boring, but it's kind of what we have to do right now. I am looking at deep shots in every play, but they are not there. And maybe we can have a run and play without a holding ball. There's Connor. So he might be able to get his uh, thousand yards here if we can, if we can cap off this drive with some good runs by, uh, by him. Coming down to the two-minute warning. Yeah. So he needs uh, twelve yards, I guess. I should have been going chew clock throughout all of this, I just realized. Not that it mattered with all those stoppages with the penalties. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away. And I know those they're stock in the box. We're still running it. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he has met at the line of scrimmage. Third and seven. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. We'll give it to Connor one more time. We'll go two clock. 
So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against And we will kick a field goal. What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. He's yeah, he's not going to get his 1,000 yards today. A little bit of a rough go. Those uh, penalties were hurting us. Putting us in a position where we had to throw the ball on this drive. And why can't I chew clock when I'm kicking a field goal? They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out. So I appreciate you watching the game. There's another blowout against the Bengals. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, I'm going to do a video shortly. No week or two about uh, the value I get out of playing franchise mode. You know, it's not necessarily about winning or losing. It's more about the story of what you're you're doing, the story of the players, the story of your franchise, uh, especially if you're a fan of a team. So those are some thoughts I want to get out there, you know, because I know uh, by this time in a franchise, Kind of no matter what you do with sliders, no matter what you do with difficulty level, uh, you're probably going to be winning most games. And uh, that part of it gets a little tedious, I guess, if that's what you're interested in. But that's really never been what Franchise was about for me. Franchise is more about, um, not to put it too artsy, but it's, it's about storytelling. It's about... Uh, you know, years of a franchise and the players you have and the legacy. So anyway, I will expand on that in a future video. But one of, one of the things I kind of decided when I was going to start putting up YouTube videos with my uh, Madden games, uh, I'm just going to do it the way I do it. I mean, the way I've always done it. Uh, the way I enjoy playing, and uh, hopefully there's some other people out there who enjoy it also. Are they running the ball here? They might be running the ball. No. No, they're not running the ball. Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. 16 seconds. They will throw on first down with Burrow. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. I hope we don't give up a touchdown here. Not that it would matter. And another screen. Out of bounds with seven seconds left. Um, coaches want me to play. Uh... All right, they want me to play prevent. So what the heck? Why not? Throwing now, Burrow on first down. He's gonna let it fly. And this is. It's intercepted by two. Mike Hilton, the shortest guy back there, somehow managed to intercept the pass. Good job, Mike Hilton. Last play of the game, gets a pick. All right, so we got another win. We are going to be, uh, what are we going to be, 14-0? and 0? You don't have to look and see. I haven't been paying attention to the ticker as to how the Titans did. We need the Titans to lose to the Ravens so there we go a little anemic with our running game a lot of that came down to those stupid penalties at the end of the game and not being able to continue to uh, pound the ball when we got in those uh, long uh, yarder situations take a look at our stats they move ever closer to the perfect regular season as they run things to 14 and 0. And they will hit the road. Yeah, Burrow had a good game. I mean, we slow them down. We can't stop these all Madden quarterbacks. Like, you're not really going to stop them. You got to just slow them down and win the game somehow. So we kept him under control. We got an interception on the last play of the game. That doesn't count for much. Kept Mixon under control. He didn't have any big runs on us. Um. 
Two rushing touchdowns on the day, but not a lot of yardage. Clay Peterson with a big game. Ten catches, 97 yards, no scores. Clay pulled six for 103. We almost had 300-yard receivers today. So this is nice. I, I wished I could get uh, all the all three wide receivers involved a little more. But that number two wide receiver, it's just it always seems hard to get him the ball. Two sacks by uh, two at one by Fitzpatrick, and the interception by Hill in. Devin Bush with nine total tackles. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the game. Yeah, another blowout, but you know, it's the Bengals. As a Steelers fan, I won't be able to say that much longer with Burrow there. Um, but if you did enjoy it, go ahead and hit the like button. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Whatever you decide to do, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next game.